Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, Dileshwar Rao from uh, Aeronautical Department. So today uh, I'm going to discuss on uh, automatic control of aircraft uh, course, uh, which is uh, been uh, designed for uh, uh, with the eighth semester uh, uh, UG twenty rocket regulations. So this course has been uh, telling you like uh, what is the need of control systems, uh, control systems and uh, uh, control surfaces uh, significance. For uh, making uh, aircraft uh, stable in uh, condition and for flying that uh, aircraft, how it we, how it should be, uh, I mean how it should be designed the control system uh, operation uh, through the uh, pilot. I mean how it has to be co connect with the pilot through uh, connectors or uh, wires or uh, signal transmitters. Like uh, uh, how the devices should be uh, uh, engaged with uh, uh, pilot controls. And how the control surface are uh, significant for uh, model implementation, and for uh, other than aircraft like spacecrafts and missiles, also how these uh, control surfaces are uh, being useful for uh, further modification. So those type of uh, contents have been uh, uh, involved on uh, this one. So so let's go into the topic. So see here, uh, the course has been uh, designed as uh, uh, automatic control of aircraft. So it is for uh, UG20 regulations. So for the pro prerequisite uh, courses for this one is uh, flight mechanics and uh, aircraft stability control. So these uh, subjects already uh, you have been uh, come across on your fourth semester and sixth semester. So so most of things have been uh, uh, taken from there and uh, it will be like uh, advanced things to that one like advanced means uh, it's a continuation things to that one so flight mechanics will uh, gives you like what is the basic uh, needs of uh, stability and control how it has been uh, implemented uh, for uh, uh, controlling surfaces design and what is the longitudinal control lateral control directional control stick fix stick uh, stick free control uh, uh, things and uh, how it has been uh, i mean endurance range and uh, static stability uh, dynamic stability these things have been already uh, theoretically we learned in uh, previous uh, semesters so now after uh, getting the theoretical knowledge how that knowledge is been applying for designing the control system of an aircraft so like uh, everyone knows like uh, why these control uh, surfaces are required for an aircraft so con aircraft is like uh, uh, if you see uh, aircraft uh, generally nowadays we are seeing as having uh, different types of uh, control surfaces like flaps ailerons elevators rudders slats stalls uh, uh, slots every i mean um, different types of uh, control uh, surfaces have been in, uh, involved on this one in addition to that other systems also like uh, hydraulic system pneumatic system uh, 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 conditioner air conditioning system fuel uh, fuel air uh, system and uh, uh, fuel control system and the engine maintenance system and uh, landing uh, instruments and the digital cockpit uh, systems and uh, uh, head up movement uh, these type of uh, advanced things have been implemented in many uh, uh, planes and uh, i mean passenger flights and as well as uh, uh, jet fighters so so in this topic i mean uh, this course will uh, tells you like a overview of uh, the things whatever we are uh, learning i mean uh, apply, uh, applying for this uh, design of uh, control systems for um, aircraft we are going to discuss on uh, uh, this uh, course so the objective of this course is like uh, uh, giving a guidance control of aircraft and explain uh, the different uh, argumentation systems requirement uh, uh, for uh, uh, aircraft uh, control system design and uh, autopilot system and flight path uh, stabilization and uh, auto automatic flare control systems uh, design also will uh, going to discuss uh, with this one i mean this is a uh, like objective means like uh, what the course content i mean whatever the contents we have uh, framed in the course is uh, delivering to a student and uh, another one uh, will be like a fly by wire uh, system like what is fly by wire system how it has been implemented for uh, controlling law designs of uh, 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 stepping algorithm and uh, how that uh, fly by wire system is implemented for uh, different uh, systems of aircraft that we are uh, going to discuss here and the operating principles and design uh, guidance laws uh, launch vehicle dynamic uh, dynamics and uh, requirements for that also we are uh, going to uh, get from this uh, course so 
this is the module one we have uh, given for uh, 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 present uh, uh, aircraft. So, see uh, in this first uh, first uh, things will be like uh, historic uh, development. I mean, in, in the introduction part, uh, there will be like uh, 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 missiles at, at uh, World War Two era and uh, guided missiles and its uh, impact on uh, uh, weapon field and all and historic background uh, behind this uh, development of uh, things and effect of parameters along with uh, normal distribution, uh, follow-up shot and advances uh, technology uh, permitted the development guided missiles and uh, uh, other uh, military weaponry systems also uh, we are going to discuss on uh, here. So these are the course outcomes, uh, uh, course outcomes where, uh, from the uh, course for uh, C. According to the NBA norms, we have to design uh, six course outcomes for uh, uh, every course of BTEC, uh, BTEC and MTEC. So in the BTEC level, uh, six course outcomes have been designed to uh, uh, the contents uh, we have developed in uh, uh, this uh, course. So C, so CO1, CO1 is uh, mostly mapped with the module one. So here the uh, this side uh, uh, blooms uh, uh, blooms level if you see here. So this is a uh, um, uh, like uh, uh, blooms level of uh, blooms taxonomy level uh, like understanding applying uh, uh, understanding applying uh, 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 I mean create evaluation. Uh, so on that level, so most of the things will be uh, related to the module one is understanding level. So other uh, CO2 like uh, demonstrating the automatic control of uh, uh, automatic control system and uh, different types of uh, things also uh, 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 CO2 to CO6 have been uh, comes like uh, applying level. Okay. So coming to the topic now we are discussing about uh, historical background of uh, control system. So today's uh, topic we are uh, discussing on uh, historical background of uh, control system uh, design. So see here. Uh, this was the first uh, uh, glided uh, uh, design which was uh, uh, given by Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, so he has, uh, I mean, he, he has not physically uh, uh, applied this one, but he made a sketch of this one, how the glider should be looks like. So this was the first uh, uh, sketch, uh, uh, like uh, ornithopter uh, design, he was made it on uh, 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 15th century. So, 14, uh, 14, uh, 86 uh, to 90 uh, that time. So, this is the air balloon uh, system, which was uh, uh, aerial voyage in history, like uh, hot air balloon uh, design, which was first uh, demonstrated in Paris at uh, uh, 1783. So, this is a type of uh, 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 one directional uh, 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 implementation. I mean, one directional implementation means uh, like a rocket, like hot air balloon, what it will do that uh, the hot air glass will be blown onto that uh, uh, balloon then it will uh, having the pressure difference with the outside uh, air so that the hot air will be lighter than the outside air so that it will uh, fly on this one. So this was the first uh, thing uh, which was uh, developed at uh, uh, 1783. So the basic uh, principles of aircraft uh, uh, stability and control is involving, I mean, uh, this was first, uh, uh, the control systems uh, development was first uh, given by George Kelly in uh, 1804. Uh, so, uh, he is seen in the figure, uh, which is uh, so showing here. So, he is uh, Mr. George Kelly. So, first uh, he he, uh, he made uh, this uh, glider model, see here. So this is the first glider model he uh, made at uh, 1804 and for this the tile part control systems also he designed at uh, that time only see here. So how this control system and uh, there was a uh, uh, testing uh, uh, equipment also he uh, made uh, here. So he was the first man who invented the control systems need for an aircraft. So, uh, so the first historic step stone was uh, started at uh, the, uh, this level. Okay, so then the airplane is uh, like uh, I mean uh, generally the airplane will be uh, highly uh, uh, stable, also a sluggish in air, so its natural tendency to return to the equilibrium somewhat uh, uh, defeats that. Uh, uh, I mean pa pilot needs to control that uh, directions uh, uh, by means of uh, uh, getting out of uh, control. 
to in control of uh, in, in control to his hands so for that what uh, he has to do that uh, pilot should uh, made total control over the aircraft i mean when when he is uh, uh, flying that uh, uh, object so that uh, he has to have the total control on the control surfaces so the white brothers are uh, uh, at uh, 1900 like uh, see first uh, uh, totally i mean full fledged uh, uh, aircraft was uh, started in uh, 1900 but before that only see in uh, 14th uh, 15th century leonardo da vinci has been uh, worked on uh, uh, how that uh, flying object will looks like and after that george kelly uh, he was uh, uh, i mean he was uh, invented that uh, uh, control surface need for an uh, that uh, glider see there was no link between the persons who have worked before but the bright brothers who as did exact work on uh, implementing the aircraft he they have studied the work before i mean whoever worked on this uh, control system design and aircraft design i mean aircraft means uh, it's like a uh, uh, like a flying object design how it should looks like and what are the uh, constraints for uh, constraints for uh, designing that one and how it should be uh, maintained so that have been uh, first uh, uh, given by uh, uh, Wright brothers on 1900 so i mean uh, obviously wilbert and arbelly or the airmen uh, or worked as an airman in uh, uh, and so they know the word like uh, inspired quick and uh, i mean maneuverability uh, things have been uh, quickly understand by them so therefore they discarded uh, the idea of inherent stability uh, that was uh, in attached by kelly and uh, pinot so the white brothers designed their aircraft uh, to be statically unstable i mean they studied their uh, things from uh, kelly and uh, pinot but they uh, i mean they didn't uh, apply it fully to their uh, uh, first uh, demonstrating uh, things so this feature along with uh, their uh, development like uh, lateral control through wing wrapping is primarily uh, responsible for uh, uh, and, uh, I mean, uh, good air, uh, air performance so uh, this has been uh, i mean uh, this has been studied between uh, 1903 to 1912 so after wilbert uh, dramatic public de dis demonstration in france at uh, 1908 so european designs uh, quickly adapted the uh, rights uh, patent concept of combined lateral and directional uh, control by uh, coordinated wing wrapping and uh, rudder deflection so they re but they rejected that uh, white's uh, philosophy of static uh, instability so like uh, they i mean already uh, they have uh, demonstrated their uh, uh, model in uh, uh, usa as well as in france also but uh, europeans have been uh, totally uh, worked on uh, whatever the controlling surface i mean uh, during the during the piloting so uh, during the flying how the uh, flying object is stable in air i mean if it is need to be uh, fly on the air in a sta uh, stable condition it has to get uh, uh, good uh, st uh, stability like uh, not only the propulsive force only will uh, uh, gives you to fly on air but there will be a controlling forces also should be act on the aircraft so that uh, then only it will be easily fly on uh, uh, on air so for that what they did so uh, in 1910 the europeans for uh, uh, design one flying aircraft uh, properly uh, mated that uh, this uh, flight uh, i mean rights uh, rights model so uh, they were uh, it's, la, it's like a long established uh, uh, basic principles i mean it has been followed the basic principles and rights uh, but rights are stick to their uh, principles only but uh, uh, their unstable design only they are trying to made it implement further so uh, due to that uh, in 1910 so european design began to sub, uh, surpass uh, the rights uh, mechan uh, machines and the lead to aeronautical engineering established uh, i mean uh, aeronautical, aeronautical engineering uh, development was established in uh, usa at 1903 and it was uh, uh, distributed to france england germany and other uh, european countries also in almost uh, uh, in a period of uh, 20 years so then the people have uh, worked on uh, this uh, aero objects like how this uh, flying objects should be designed what are the implementation we can do it in this uh, 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 things and what are the uh, 
futuristic uh, models we can uh, uh, get it from this one so that many scientists have been uh, worked on this one then only they came to know that uh, these are the implementations we can uh, do it in uh, 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 coming uh, years uh, that time they don't know maybe uh, these uh, flying objects are this much uh, uh, useful in future but nowadays you see the airplanes fighter fighter jets missiles everything has been uh, helicopters uh, these are all uh, flying uh, crafts only so these are all so much of famous and this was uh, essential things for uh, transportation and other uh, uh, defense purpose but that time they worked on how to implement the model which was first established by wright brothers so the people i mean every country is having an organization uh, they were uh, worked on their uh, model and they started implementing the things i mean they have uh, gathered information from many persons like uh, every person is working on uh, the type of uh, model and they are getting that information see the penod in the kelly's uh, work penod was not able i mean he was uh, not aware of kelly's work he also did one uh, model but he is not aware of uh, uh, kelly's work but the after the wright brothers wright brothers have studied that one but they didn't uh, implemented in their uh, uh, model but after the wright brothers uh, uh, demonstration each organization from different countries have followed that uh, i mean followed the instruction i mean the instruction means uh, 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 they came to know that importance of control surface implementation in uh, uh, flying objects so then they started uh, uh, using the different types of uh, instruments for controlling that uh, uh, control surfaces and they made uh, that control surface fit into that uh, flying object and uh, they tried many ways like everything whatever the uh, uh, today's uh, physical uh, i mean uh, engineering model or uh, any technical model we are uh, seeing now it was uh, developed by many person not only by single one like say see uh, if a cycle is there then then we can say who invented the cycle we can say macmillan but cycle was not sta- i mean uh, it was not stopped at that level only after that many modifications were there see previous uh, in the uh, ancient days uh, cycle uh, wheel will be like a uh, b- bigger wheel will be there Uh, and uh, uh, there will be a smaller wheel on the downside. So first cycle will be uh, like this. So after that, the uh, both wheels will be uh, uh, at a time. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, both wheels will be same. After that, some sports model. After that, there was a uh, uh, there was a uh, gear uh, introduction. Many things was happened to that. Then now electrical cycles have came. So like that. I mean, basic model. I'm saying. not only in cycle automobiles uh, and this uh, uh, air traffic and uh, the our mobile phones our electronic devices computer everything in the starting level it was a, uh, looking like a normal model only but after m- many implementations only then it was made it to a useful thing and uh, now again we are uh, working on the same models only we are uh, trying to get uh, 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 more uh, Uh, interesting uh, pages right so coming on to this one so like uh, today i mean uh, ancient uh, in uh, around the 80s and 90s uh, fighter jets developed by usca uh, like uh, f uh, f series fighter jets like f16 x uh, f18 the, those are the statically unstable in order to uh, Uh, obtain a dramatic increase in uh, maneuverability so in the during the maneuverability maneuverability means what uh while controlling the aircraft sudden turn like a uh, sudden banking uh, banking uh, it was happening so what is banking and all uh, i think you already know so uh, sudden banking sudden pull up sudden pull down um, uh, this uh, um, after um, uh, missile uh, uh, exhaustion how it should uh, escape from the upcoming missile so this type of maneuverability abilities was uh, not uh, made uh, made by this uh, fighter jets so then the people worked on that uh, drawbacks and they uh, uh, come with an idea like uh, fly by wire concept so fly by wire concept uh, i mean uh, we uh, will uh, uh, discuss on this one so let us see like a general uh, uh, things i'm uh, telling so generally for an aircraft 
the pilot will uh, uh, operate with uh, one uh, throttle so this throttle will be uh, connected to the uh, one hydraulic system so this is a hydraulic system so let us say hydraulic system and this hydraulic system is again uh, uh, connected to that uh, 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 one uh, control surfaces uh, so this control surface will be connect, uh, connected through uh, this uh, hydraulic system and uh, it will have some reservoir wire uh, and uh, one actuator uh, arrangement everything should be there so here everything is connected with uh, mechanical connectors only so uh, while uh, doing this i mean while working with this mechanical uh, connectors so in the fuselage like uh, uh, aircraft uh, fuselage is there so in the fuselage there will be a separate uh, um, um, chamber they are mentioning maintaining so on that chamber this running cables like a running cable means not a cables uh, this uh, uh, running uh, uh, connectors was placed uh, at uh, one level so these connectors have been connected to the cockpit and the control surface see the control surfaces are here and also here also uh, in the tile path so the connectors have been connected uh, to here also so, and uh, here one uh, uh, different types of linkages will be there so these are all uh, running uh, throughout the aircraft and these are bulky and uh, uh, more uh, uh, heavy in nature so while operating this one like uh, this throttle is uh, operating like this one or this one or pedal uh, system is there then pedal is pressing then uh, so that uh, due to that pedal the mechanical connector is uh, activated and uh, it is uh, uh, making new moving moving of uh, this uh, uh, surface so that everything is connected through mechanical rods or wires then this fly by wire concept what it is to uh, telling uh, in that this mechanical connectors like a uh, wires and rods have been removed and in place of the mechanical uh, mechanical connectors they introduce electronic uh, electrical wires electrical wire means so uh, from this uh, throttle to this uh, system so from this thro throttle to system so the throttle is there so throttle controlling point is there so here to here uh, uh, here to that uh, hydraulic system uh, there will be a uh, connection that connection is by means of uh, electrical wire only so from here to the actuator also so if that actuator is in uh, uh, wing section so uh, so wing section to uh, the control surface so here to the uh, actuator to this uh, system also connected through wire only and uh, that means uh, here one uh, flow control object is there uh, so this flow control object will uh, uh, acting as a two way model two way switch this two way switch will uh, gives you a uh, flow direction like uh, how uh, i mean if you want uh, if you want to explain how hydraulic system will work so first you see one reservoir will be there so on that reservoir the fluid will be there so that fluid will be connected uh, uh, through one switch hmm? uh, this is a control switch like a four way uh, control uh, switch it will be uh, so so this switch uh, uh, this uh, uh, cables will be connected to one uh, uh, actuator actuator is like a generally one uh, uh, piston in the cylinder uh, arrangement so it's like a two way piston so here uh, one uh, pipe is uh, connected to here and another pipe is connected to here right and uh, 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 another pipe i mean uh, outflow pipe will be connected here okay so what will happen when the switch is uh, uh, operating like uh, when a uh, control is operated so this will be adjusted uh, according to this uh, level i mean it has to be flow in this direction or this direction this flow this switch will be uh, uh, controlled so that if it is uh, uh, coming in this direction these two will be uh, closed so that here the pressure will come so that it will move forward so that here whatever the linkage system is there that will be connected to the control system so i mean control surface then it will uh, operate that one and if you want to retract that one then what it will be this uh, control switch will be turned to this side so that uh, here the flow will be uh, i mean here the flow will be stopped and the flow will be uh, start from here so what will happen so the flow will be going in one uh, one direction and another fluid whatever there in here now so previously if it is there that flow will be going from uh, out from here so that it will retract 
So the retracting motion and forward motion will be connected through this switch only. So scientists have developed, suppose this switch, I mean whatever this switch is there, the switch, I mean switch like a, uh, like you see one tab. So if it is, uh, if it is a uh, switch, if you operate it with the electrical uh, uh, electronic controls, then we can uh, directly uh, move our fluid to uh, this way and we can rectify that mo uh, fluid moment also. Uh, so, and after that, uh, on a further uh, implementation like uh, making one uh, sensor here and sensor pressure, uh, pressure gauge sensor and uh, flow, flow sensor and uh, electrical uh, uh, transmitting sensor. Uh, so, many modifications were there. But basic operation was this only. So, in this basic operation, how this switch is operated? This switch is, uh, can be operated through mechanical linkages or maybe with the electrical, electronic uh, uh, electrical switches also. So, best example is uh, you seen in uh, nowadays uh, uh, buses. So, buses uh, automatic door, like uh, door will be automatically uh, operating. No? So, there uh, you see one uh, air uh, leakage sound will be there. So, that uh, uh, that system is a, call it as a pneumatic system. So, uh, general systems we are using in uh, aircraft is like a hydraulic system and pneumatic system. Hydraulic system means whatever the working fluid we are using for operating that system is, will be a liquid. So, if liquid is using as a for working fluid for operating the system, then that is the system is called as a hydraulic system. And if air other than liquid, air we are using to operate that uh, system, then it is called a pneumatic system. Okay. So, most of the automobiles are working nowadays with uh, pneumatic system only, but uh, some of uh, systems like uh, cars and uh, disc brakes, uh, disc brakes are working with uh, hydraulic system only. Their dense uh, fluid is been using inside that one, like oil only. So, that oil works as a working fluid for operating that system. So, that means why I am uh, saying all these things like here, the connectors between the system and the pilot uh, things have been connected through the mechanical linkages or electronic wires. So, electrical wires. So, if it is connected through electrical wires, then that uh, type of concept is called as a fly-by-wire concept. So, what is fly-by-wire concept? When a system is operating in an aircraft, is being connected through the pilot, through electrical wires, then that concept is called fly-by-wire concept. What, uh, what is that one? When a system is operated by pilot uh, through electrical uh, electrical wires, like when a system is uh, connected to, to the uh, to the cockpit through electrical wires, and the entire operation is based on the electrical uh, 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 electrical signal only, then that type of uh, system is uh, called fly by wire uh, system or fly by wire concept. Okay. So if uh, anyone asks like what is fly by wire system and what is a uh, uh, fly by uh, I mean uh, uh, conventional system. Uh, you mean to uh, say in a simple word, okay? So, see here, uh, uh, wh wh what was the thing? Our uh, system is uh, working with the fly-by-wire uh, concept, and after that, after the fly-by-wire concept, there is a other uh, 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 other uh, uh, implementations also was happened. So that is called uh, fly-by-high uh, light system. Fly-by light system means what? There, in place of electrical uh, wires, they used uh, optical fibers. So, the connectors will be uh, uh, running through optical uh, uh, light signal only. So, uh, the signal is uh, transmitted through wire, uh, wire uh, I mean it is not a wire like optical fiber. So, then only the uh, system will be operated. So, that is called fly by light system and fly by high system also has been came. Fly by high means it is like a Wi-Fi control. Wi-Fi control means uh, like internet of things like uh, one uh, signal, uh, uh, one transmitter will be there, one transmitter, one uh, receiver will be there. So, this uh, receiver will be, uh, transmitter will be at uh, pilot position and this transmitter will be at uh, uh, system position. So, when it is receiving one signal and it will, uh, uh, when it is transmitting the signal, it will receive and then it will be, uh, uh, I mean, I mean, it will be uh, controlling that uh, thing and it will, uh, uh, connected through uh, that part, right? So, like this. So, these are the controlling surfaces we are uh, already talking about. Uh, see one aircraft having generally ailerons, elevators, uh, uh, rudders, 
and uh, uh, here the slats also there and uh, flaps will be uh, fitting here so these are all concepts have been first uh, given by uh, george kelly only so after that there will be a co connecting elements was uh, done with uh, um, different uh, connecting uh, agents so, so that was uh, uh, further modification we can uh, say that one so these are the working models first uh, developed at uh, uh, i mean uh, kelly's model you see here so this is a uh, type of a bas uh, ba basket has been connected to one uh, um, uh, like a two wings of having a biplane uh, things and uh, first propulsive aircraft see here the first propulsive uh, uh, flying object was uh, looking like this so this was first uh, developed at uh, 1874 okay so after that uh, in 20th century uh, in uh, modern uh, aircraft is coming with a um, lot of lot of uh, modifications and uh, there was a french designer called lavavasseur uh, lavavasseur in his famous uh, atomic uh, airplanes he invented uh, one uh, i mean he invented the topic about vertical and horizontal uh, stabilizer uh, significance so he uh, talked about that one so he also he uh, he also uh, given a uh, lecture about uh, i mean uh, presented papers about the mobile flaps and uh, radar, uh, radar elevator uh, uh, control surfaces uh, significance also he talked about. And the true uh, function of ailerons uh, for uh, <coughs> wrapping, uh, wrap, uh, wrapping wires and all, that was first uh, uh, I mean, uh, implemented after the uh, design modifications for uh, existing flights. So early European, uh, uh, European airplane engineers was uh, uh, did I mean implemented the lateral control? I mean significance of uh, importance of lateral control in uh, uh, after the uh, Wilbur's uh, demonstration. They came to know that what is the lateral control uh, uh, usage. Also, they uh, mentioned after that uh, 1908 only. So many after uh, uh, so many years. So uh, one Englishman, uh, English uh, physician called M. P. W. Bolton. He is a he is a patented on a concept. Uh, uh, it is telling about the lateral control by ailerons. So first uh, aileron was uh, uh, developed by uh, the person who have uh, given uh, before. No? So he, he he has taken the patent on that one. And uh, other uh, wing wrapping concept in uh, uh, um, during the wing wrapping concept uh, in Chicago uh, September uh, 1, 1901 and June uh, June 24. Uh, Octave Chunete. Octave Chunete. He has clearly described the uh, Wright Brothers concept in a uh, as a. I mean, he explained the Wright Brothers concept uh, in a uh, uh, in a demonstrated way uh, to the Aero Club in France and Paris, uh, uh, France in Paris at uh, 1903. So other aeronautical engineers are also from uh, Euro European uh, space uh, European agency and uh, 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 other agencies also been worked on uh, uh, this uh, systems. And the uh, and uh, other uh, the stepping stone is like uh, uh, making a winglet uh, concept. So winglet concept also been uh, uh, adopted uh, after the many uh, uh, modifications to the wing model. So winglet is like what one uh, airplane is uh, uh, airplane wing is like that. So so here the uh, uh, at the tip of the wing. So there will be a one vertical position will be there. So that vertical position is called as a winglet. So this is also like a aerodynamic surface only, but it will uh, uh, overrate like uh, when a flow is flowing over this uh, air airfoil section. So due to the induced drag uh, near to the aircraft, so it will make that a a aircraft wing to twist and a torsional effect it will uh, happen. So to avoid the torsional, torsional effect, here some disturbing agent will be there. So that is disturbing agents is like a uh, some vertical uh, 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 vertical uh, uh, metal plate was uh, uh, made there. So that will uh, divert that uh, I mean uh, uh, distribute the flow over this one so that it can avoid the wing tip vertices. So that is called winglet concept. This was first uh, uh, given by Henry Farman, who designed a uh, biplane called uh, Henry Farman Three. That was included a flap like uh, aileron at uh, trailing edge. 
after uh, four wing tips uh, this was uh, the true ancestor of uh, conventional uh, model airline and farmers design soon adopted by many other designers also so the bright brothers clung to their uh, old concept but uh, the things i mean uh, the scientists after that uh, uh, bright brothers uh, uh, establishment many of uh, given uh, many modification to that one. see here this is a uh, uh, implemented uh, biplane was first uh, given by uh, voice in fireman uh, at uh, at that time so uh, you, you can see this type of biplane uh, model uh, implementation in the uh, after uh, uh, coming uh, uh, modifications also okay so this was the historic development was made uh, around uh, uh, aircraft uh, controlling surfaces and control system designs and uh, whatever the needs for control system uh, things also uh have been uh, discussed here, uh, till now so other uh, missile control systems and uh, uh, types of uh, instruments uh, controlling the uh, control system, um, types of uh, instruments using for uh, control systems also we'll uh, discuss on uh, next session okay thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates